Hey y'all, welcome back to the party. It's me, your girl, Britt Reacts, and today we're reacting to Weekend Update. This is the Donald Trump indictment segment from SNL. Let's see what they have to say. It's Weekend Update with Colin Jost and Michael Che. It feels like the real news. Like legit. Update. I'm Michael Che. I'm Colin Jones. Well, great news for conservatives. New York is finally cracking down on crime. <laughs> Former President Donald Trump was indicted for his role in paying hush money to porn star Stormy Daniels, and the trial will be like a Stormy Daniels movie because I'm deeply ashamed at how excited I am to watch it. <laughs> Trump will reportedly surrender next week, but his lawyer, Joe Tacopina, who Trump definitely calls Joe Tapioca, <laughs> No, because I looked at that and I think my eyes immediately went to tapioca. That's hilarious. This feels like a real news broadcast, like from the production to the set, like everything, like the intro, like feels so real. That's so, SNL is just wild. Um, I'm sorry, I thought the tapioca joke was hilarious. Said that the president will not be put in handcuffs, though he would consider wearing fake breakaway handcuffs and a Superman t-shirt. <laughs> When Trump surrenders, New York City police will take his official mugshot, which you know is the only thing Trump cares about getting right. I'm sure he's hoping it'll look cool like Frank Sinatra's, but... Holy cow, that's a beautiful mugshot. Is that what Frank Sinatra looked like as a young man? <gasps> Bergen County, isn't that New Jersey? That's Jersey, isn't it? Wow, look at his eyes. What a stunner. Um, also, I... That mugshot that they're referring to from Trump either never came out or they didn't actually take one, right? Because I, I don't like pride myself in following the news much. I tend to stay away from it because I like to be a happy person. Um, but I feel like I would have seen that somewhere on Beyonce's worldwide internet. Like I would have, right? <laughs> but I didn't see it. So, um, holy cow, Frank Sinatra. I mean, the bang, the like wisp. It's just who. And the fact that this was maybe potentially Thanksgiving in 1938, because Thanksgiving sometimes falls on the 27th, right? I'm so off topic right now. Good God. I bet it'll end up closer to Nick Nolte. <laughs> Trump is reportedly being charged with 34 counts of business fraud. Business fraud is also what they call the Trump costume at Spirit Halloween. <laughs> President Are those Biden bananas? Their hair looks like bananas. He had no comment on Trump's indictment, and then he danced away like the Six Flags guy. <laughs> oh my God! I think you have to be like a certain age to know who the Six Flags guy was. That just made me feel so old. When was the last time you've been to Six Flags? Leave it in the comments. Danced away like the Six Flags guy. <laughs> I think in general the people might be overreacting to this indictment. Like an actual headline on CNN yesterday was, nothing in American history approaches the tumult of the charging and possible trial and conviction of a former president. A more accurate headline would be, man we all knew was criminal, may be criminal. <laughs> At this point it feels like even pro-Trump people have moved on. I mean, I went down to the courthouse today and I was the only protester there. <laughs> you Let our boy go. <laughs> I told them not to laugh at you, April Fool's. <laughs> this came out on April Fool's. The April Fool's joke was not to laugh at the joke. Is that what happened? Did they not laugh? Did they not laugh, y'all? <laughs> I'm so confused. Uh, I told them not to laugh at you, April Fool's. <laughs> This is a mess. This is a mess. <laughs> Am I not Mike? And then I was just like, oh, I just suck. <laughs> All right, moving right along. That's Robert hilarious. Marjorie Taylor Greene. You're evil. <laughs> Plans 
to come to New York on Tuesday to protest Trump's indictment because apparently it takes her three days to put on her Joker makeup. <laughs> no, they'll probably laugh at this next one. They'll probably laugh at this next one. That's funny. That's funny. I love that they're like 100% breaking the fourth wall, which is hilarious. He's like, I told the audience not to laugh. And now that I think about it, I guess they weren't laughing as hard at his jokes. Like maybe they were trying to like hold it in or, you know, sometimes they add laughter audio. I don't know who that lady is. That makeup joke, though, was yikes. <laughs> That's the meanest thing you've ever done. <laughs> I can't get over it. <laughs> I'm covered in sweat. Aww. I know who this guy is. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't you even dare. Don't you even dare try now. <laughs> Florida Governor Ron <laughs> Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, who thinks he's Gaston, but girl but girl, you LaFoo. <laughs> Ron DeSantis. I don't think we're going to get through this, guys. I don't think we're going to get through it. Ron DeSantis said Florida officials would not help extradite Trump back to New York unless, of course, he agrees to take a busload of migrants with him. <laughs> in, the wake, in the wake of the Nashville shooting, President Biden once again called on Congress to pass an assault weapons ban. Or, hear me out, Stop and frisk for whites. <laughs> How long before these kids earn a stereotype? <laughs> Could be a valid question. I don't know. <laughs> the way that, like, the segue between the headlines is wild. Like, Michael Shea just set that up, and then this is what we get. This is insane. Is this real? I just... The meaning of Christmas is really what I'm thinking about here, right? Like the true meaning of Christmas. And it's like, what does this have to do with the, with the other? Uh, let's, let's hear him out, folks. Congressman Andy Ogles, who represents the district where the national shooting took place, is being <gasps> criticized for a Christmas no. card where he and his family are holding assault rifles. Okay, even putting aside mass shootings, who are you psychos sending these cards to? <laughs> if I received that in the mail, I would move. <laughs> card tells you is, I'm armed, right. I have terrible judgment, and I know where you live. <laughs> right. Democratic Representative Jamal Bowman and Republican Thomas Massey got into a screaming match on Capitol Hill after Bowman called the GOP gutless cowards for opposing gun control, which is a cheap shot because if there's one thing Republicans definitely have, it's big old guts. <laughs> Trump has also been promoting a song called Justice. That was Ted Cruz, right? I don't know if I've ever seen Ted Cruz like standing up. I think I've only ever seen him in sit down interviews. So this is new news to me. Unless he gained weight, because his face also looks bigger than I'm accustomed to seeing. All right. Thanks for that. <laughs> Trump has also been promoting a song called Justice for All, which features himself and a choir of men jailed for their no roles way. in the January 6th attack. And no I feel way. bad for the January 6th singers. No way. You know jail gets a lot worse once the other prisoners find out you're in an acapella group. <laughs> that was educational. Um, funnier than the regular news, but still somehow stressed me out like the regular news. <laughs> Just like... Okay, um, I think the best part of it was the the prank that he played on his on his uh, castmate, which is hilarious. I, I'm gonna assume this came out on April Fool's Day, which that's a really good prank. Um, all right, well, let me know if I should be watching more of these. If there's another, I'm assuming they they do these weekly on SNL, or at least every time there's like stuff in the news, which is every single second of the day these days. So I don't know. Let me know, but. Do me a favor and go and have the day you deserve. Peace. Hey y'all, before the video ends, I just want to let you know merch is here. Well, it's coming. It's just a few days. <laughs> The Have the Day You Deserve collection is on the way. It is available July 4th for all Patreon members and July 11th for everyone. I have left a preview here on the screen for you. I hope you are as excited as I am and I hope to get to see you in the merch. 
go and have the day you deserve.